Howdy y'all. We're back again one more time and this was the last time for the 303. If you've seen my last video on my 303, I had made a new mold. Yeah. I uh, casted some bullets for it. They're about 200, 205 grains. And I had problems. Uh, it was most of it was my fault. The uh, I didn't get the right expander for the cases and messed that up. I think the lead was a little too soft myself. It was about 10, but powder coated. Uh, might have been running them a little too hot too. I uh, kind of went by what uh, the Lee Lime, no, the Lyman cast book kind of went by it to calculate my load. I might have been a little hot, I don't know. But anyway, I got some lead. This is about 16 Brunel, and it's double powder coated and then sized. I got my correct expander out this time and it got all that taken care of i reduced the powder charge and loaded them up and went to the range we got five rounds down the bore pulled my bore scope out and i'll show you footage of that right now And obviously, we had letting starting starting already. That and the uh, target. Why why go anymore? I was aiming here. First shot was right there. The next four was down here. I mean, how can you go from up here to down here and not move anything? You know, I, I I just don't know what to say that 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 rifle has never shot right for me. Uh, I started loading because of that rifle, and it still frustrates me because I can't get it to shoot straight. So I think it's dead rifle. <clears throat> if I do anything up to it, is I may rebarrel it. That'd be the only thing to do to it at this point for me. I've got no more use for it. I took a scope off of another gun to put on it to make sure i had a good scope on it and all that and that didn't work so that scope's got to go back onto the other rifle and i believe we're done with this 303 till i decide to maybe rebarrel it anyway 303 is dead thanks for watching